Welcome to Chi-Square. In this video, we will be using Weka to select attributes for exploration using visualizations. Our data set for this demo will be the adultdata.arf file created from the US Census data, one of the practice data sets that comes with Chi-Square. Weka is a program that provides machine learning algorithms to support data exploration, data mining, and prediction model development. We open Weka by going to the Chi-Square menu, selecting Education, and then the Weka package. I have loaded the adultdata.arf dataset found in the Adult 50K Census folder. Selecting attributes is about narrowing down our potential list to see those attributes that might be most influential in a prediction model. We take advantage of Weka's machine learning capabilities to help find those patterns that are not always obvious in visualizations. Let's start by looking for a pattern in the visualization of the attributes. The x-axis is the attribute, and the y-axis is the nominal value over or under 50k. Red points are individuals making over $50,000, and blue points represent those making less than or equal to $50,000. Let's adjust the sensitivity of the points to make the graphs more visible. Looking at the top line quickly, we see that most of the attributes have a spread of both red and blue, with no strong patterns jumping out. Looking at the education value attributes, the red points appear to spread out more to the right, indicating higher levels of education, as expected but the blue points also appear all the way to the right. There is possibly a weak pattern indicating that making over $50,000 is more prominent all the way to the right. A closer look at marital status shows a stronger grouping of red points to the left, but there also appears to be a group of blue points matching. There is possibly a weak pattern appearing, indicating both classes of individuals have a strong tendency to be married. Having looked for obvious visual patterns, let's move to the Select Attributes tab and apply some machine learning to our search. We start by using the default CFS Subset Attribute Evaluator. The greedy stepwise search method and a tenfold cross-validation method for our training set. We see the folds taking place, and there's ten. We see five attributes, education value, marital status, relationship, capital gain, and capital loss, with each one selected 100% of the time in each of the ten folds. This method does not rank the attributes, so let's try another method. For this run, we will use the chi-squared attribute evaluator, the ranker search method, and leave the dataset selector the same. With the chi-squared method, all the attributes have been rank ordered and a merit weight given for each. Notice that we now have a different top five with the capital loss attribute being replaced by the occupation attribute. Let's run one more method to see if there is agreement with one of the previous methods. For this run, we will select the symmetrical uncertainty attribute evaluator and leave the other selectors the same. Like the chi-squared method, this method also ranks and weights all the attributes. While the top five attributes match the CFS subset method we ran, the attributes that match are in a different rank order than the chi-squared method. With this analysis, we are starting to get an understanding for the attributes that might be most powerful in helping us predict who is likely to make over $50,000. Our next steps might be revisiting the visualizations or starting to look at classifying our attributes. Weka is a powerful tool for supporting data mining and prediction model development with many advanced features not covered in this short demo. 
Look for our other short demos using this same dataset. Stay tuned!